Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And yesterday the Houston Astros beat the Miami Marlins 9 to 1. Great win for the Astros yesterday to, you know, secure a series win. They can go out and get a sweep today. This game was yesterday. Uh, they can go out and get a sweep today against the Marlins and improve to 49 and 44 with a win. So, yeah, great performance by the Astros to get a 9 to 1 win. Uh, all right, let's go over the, the this ball game. So, 9-1 to final score, 13 hits for the Astros, 6 for the Marlins, 1 error in the ballgame goes to the Marlins, win goes to Framber Valdez, he's 8-5 and five on the year now, he pitched 7 innings, giving up 6 hits, 1 run, 10 strikeouts, 1 walk, loss goes to, <laughs> I hope I said this 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 name right, uh, Hoeing, uh, who is 0-2 this year, he's pitched 3 innings, giving up 8 hits, 4 runs, 1 strikeout, 1 walk, Scoring summary, basically all Astros. Yanner Diaz starts the scoring off with an RBI single to right in the first inning. That scores Altuve. Unfortunately, Alvarez is thrown out at home. It's 1-0. to zero. In the second inning, Jake Myers hits an RBI double to left. Singleton scored. It's 2-0. to zero. With Singleton on base, Joey, or sorry, with Myers on base, uh, Joey Loperfito comes to the plate and hits his second home run of his major league career hitting it to right center, 394 feet. Myers scored. It's 4-0. to zero. Second home run for Joey Loperfito of his career. Second inning, Jordan Alvarez keeps the scoring going with a three-run second inning, making it 5-0 with a single to center to score Bregman. In the fourth inning, Alex Bregman grounds into Fielder's choice to pitcher. Loperfito scores, being his second run score to the ball game. And after that, the fifth inning, the Marlins would strike their first run of the game, but that would be their only run. Edwards with a single to left. Rivera scored. Bride to second at 6-1. to one. Trey Cabbage in the sixth inning would hit an RBI double to right. Altuve scored. Breg Bregman to third at 7-1. to one. And then Yanner Diaz with another RBI single to center. Or the first one was to right, but another RBI single. And the first one only scored one run. Tried to bring in two with Jordan Alvarez being thrown at at home. This time, he actually brings in two runs, Bregman and Cabbage score, and it's 9-1. to one. So, Yonder Diaz was great today, had three RBIs, could have been four. Loper Fido was good today. He scored two runs, and he hit a home run as well. Uh, go over some of the rest of the lineup. Altuve went one for three today with two runs scored. He had a single. Bregman went two for four today, was... Uh, outside of Joey Loperfito and Yanner Diaz was the only player, uh, one of three players on this Astros team to have a multiple hit game. Bregman went two for four, scoring two runs after uh, having, I believe, a three hit game, two or three hit game on uh, Tuesday. And on Tuesday, he had a home run. He was he was unbelievable on Tuesday, but even even well, not even better, but continued to to hit really well um, on Wednesday yesterday. Uh, Greg Kessinger got an at-bat and still has not had a hit all season. Jordan Alvarez only had two at-bats. He did leave this game due to an injury and first inning walk, second inning single to center to score Bregman. Trey Cabbage comes in for him, doesn't do terrible. He strikes out. He has a he hits a two RBI or one RBI double in the sixth, and then uh, pops out to third. Yanner Diaz was the best player in this game for the Astros, or you could you could argue Joey Loperfito. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Joey Loperfito or uh, or Yanner Diaz, or let's just throw Framber Valdez for player of the game for the Astros. I would probably give it to Joey Loperfito, but Yanner Diaz played a great game, and so did Framber Valdez. But Yanner Diaz, first inning single to right, Alvarez, Alvarez thrown out at home, Altuve scores, and then fourth inning single to center, Bregman to third, sixth inning single to center, Bregman scored, and Cabbage scored. He didn't score any runs today, but he had three RBIs with a three for four game. Jeremy went one for four. He had an infield single, but that was it for Pena. Uh, next, we have John Singleton, who went one for four with a single to center in the second inning and scored a run in the second inning. Uh, Jake Myers went one for four with a double to left in the second, and that was it for Jake going one for four. Dubon went 0 for 4, playing left field and second base today. Or I keep forgetting this game was yesterday. So yesterday he had three ground outs. Joey Loperfito went 2 for 4 at the 9 spot with a two-run home run. A fourth inning triple to center. So he's only a sink. He got the he got the hardest parts done out of a, a cycle. He was only a double and a single away from a, a cycle. So he got the hardest parts out of the way first. But then his last two at bats, he struck out and popped out. Can you imagine if Joey Loperfito hit a double in a uh, single uh so yeah uh but all right from Valdez pitches seven innings whenever what he did he had 10 strikeouts only giving up six hits Caleb Ort pitches 
the next two innings of baseball for the Astros and absolutely does so good. Uh, pitched the eighth and ninth, gave up only zero hits, zero and runs, zero walks with four strikeouts. So great win for the Astros, but I'm hoping today, you know, as they play tonight, they can pull off a sweep. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, though, and peace out. Go Astros.